Welcome to Clark's Distribution Centre, Westway. In this section, we are going to talk about health and safety. Health and safety is a government legislation that aims to ensure that the workforce is safe. To ensure you are less likely to have an accident, keep your work area in a tidy fashion. Slips, trips and falls are the biggest cause of accidents and poor housekeeping in the DC, such as cardboard incorrectly stacked down, cardboard not stored under the belt neatly, labels and packaging left lying on the floor, climbing of the picking bins instead of using the trolleys and the picking sticks, incorrect use of the high level steps to clear jams, for example not using the brake, can cause a slip trip fall injury. Always ensure if you see any hazards such as litter, paper, cardboard or elastic bands you pick them up and dispose of them in the appropriate bins. Do not leave it to somebody else. And also, always ensure you follow the training you've been given. Remember, you have a legal duty of care to cooperate with your employer with regard to any training that is given. Signage. Do what the signs say. Signs are put up for a purpose. Obey them, they are there for your safety. Never obscure signs, remove them or write on them. In Westway, high-vis and steel toe-cap shoes must be worn at all times. Westway has a canteen located on the first floor in order for you to take your breaks. You can use the vending machines by using a swipe card you get issued. Alternatively, you can bring in your own food. Please be aware there are microwaves for you to use if you wish to heat food up. They are commercial grade and are 1800 watts. The food is vended for domestic microwaves of about 750 watts, so please adjust your cooking time considerably. There are vending machines also located around the DC on all floors for you to buy hot drinks, also using your card, as well as water stations. When entering the DC, it is important to sign in and sign out, or use your card. Fire can have devastating effects. It kills, injures and destroys property and can close business for periods of time or permanently. Under legislation, your employer has a duty to undergo a range of fire prevention and risk reduction procedures. Information such as fire evacuation plans, fire wardens and the location of fire extinguishers are located on the health and safety boards within the DC. In the event of seeing a fire, always raise the alarm by pressing the call point. Make your way to the nearest fire exit. Do not stop to collect any personal belongings. Once outside, head onwards to the assembly points. These are located in the main car park. No one must attempt to return to the DC until authorised it's safe to do so. Here at Westway, we are surrounded by all sorts of various work equipment which enables us to carry out our job. Work equipment can range from a case knife to open boxes to a forklift truck and all have various types of hazards associated with the use of them. Only trained operatives that have been signed off as competent may use equipment within the DC. It is imperative that when using work equipment, that you use it in accordance with your training you have been given. Under no circumstances should you attempt to use any equipment you have not been trained on. Prior to use of equipment, you must ensure that it's in good order. If you find any equipment to be defective, you must not attempt to repair it yourself but report it to your manager, who will then get a competent person to repair it or, where needs be, replace it. Electricity is one of the most dangerous things you will come into contact with in your working life and something most of you will use in the DC every day. As most of the work equipment around you is powered by electricity, it is imperative you report any faults immediately to your manager. Only work with properly connected equipment. 
visually inspect any electrical equipment prior to use by checking the cables and plugs before switching on. Do not overload circuits or sockets. Don't use electrical equipment in damp, wet conditions. And where equipment is portable and has a plug on it, it must have an appropriate PAT sticker on it. PAT stands for Portable Appliance Test. Lifting, handling, pulling and pushing is something we do every day. Within the DC there are various areas where manual handling is carried out. When we do manual handling, it is important to ensure you lift correctly and never beyond your individual capabilities. Where possible, use some form of mechanisation, such as pump trucks, trolleys, ride-ons and forklifts. If this is not possible, you can always get someone else to assist you with a lift. Always follow these important rules. When lifting a box, always make sure you get a firm grasp. Hold the box close to your body and making sure you bend with your knees and not your back when placing it down. Always remember never to twist but turn your feet. All chemicals used in the DC must be in label containers. Never decant into another container or mix chemicals together. Chemicals must be kept in a lockable cupboard and staff trained and where an assessment states personal protective equipment must be worn. A list of first aiders is located on the health and safety boards. Emergency eye wash and first aid kits are located throughout the DC. Westway also has its own first aid room located at the entrance to the DC. All accidents must be reported to your manager and first aider to ensure proper attention can be given. First aiders can be recognised by the wearing of red t-shirts and green first aid tabards. We have now come to the end of our presentation of health and safety. Remember, all employees have a right to work in places where risks to their health and safety are properly controlled. Health and safety is about stopping you getting hurt at work or ill through work. Your employer is responsible for health and safety, but you must help by always taking reasonable care of yourselves and others within the workplace, cooperating with your employer with regards to company rules, policies and procedures, and also training, and never intentionally or recklessly interfering with anything provided to you with the interest to health and safety. Remember, health and safety is up to all of us.